Mauricio Pochettino has been re- reinstated to the Premier League, added as a Premier League manager for Chelsea FC. Obviously, this came to no surprise from anybody, really. Um, whether it's good news, bad news, or indifferent, I think it needs to be stated on this podcast that we've got a Spurs fan. And quite frankly, I mean, if you go into his stats, he, he's, he's obviously had a lot of you know history with Tottenham Hotspur, runners up in the Champions League, runners up in the League Cup. Eight Premier League seasons, by the way, with Spurs and Southampton, 256 games, 150, 132 wins, 61 draws, 63 losses. Four managers of the month, which is more than Sir Alex Ferguson, more than uh, Jose Mourinho, weirdly enough. And his time at PSG was somewhat it sort of uh, tainted his managerial career up until that point. Um, how, first of all, you're a Spurs fan. How are you feeling about it from a Spurs perspective? Uh, well, of course, because currently Spurs don't have a long term manager set up. And even though, as we sort of said, this Pochettino to Chelsea has kind of been, you know, it's been touted for a little while now. And I, and I kind of resigned myself to it a little, probably about a few weeks ago. As a Spurs fan, I'm heartbroken to a point because Chelsea are a, uh, they're a rival club in London. And I don't want to see, you know, a manager that is very close to my heart, a manager that we had. You know, I mean, I have mixed reviews, but on the whole, happy with Pochettino when he was at Spurs. Let's be honest, he took us to heights. And with what we're probably going to talk about in a little bit, with, you know, the resources he had and his kind of credentials, he did pretty amazing stuff for Spurs. So as a Spurs fan, it's hard to see him go to another club anyway, especially a rival club in London and especially Chelsea. It's it's one less than the other ones. I don't think he'd ever go to Arsenal, but like it's one or two less. You know, we've got probably Arsenal, West Ham and then Chelsea, the three, uh, they would be my third least favourite. However, um, as I'll probably talk about in a sec, you know, as a, as a neutral football fan, I think it's a good move personally. Uh, but as a Spurs fan, you know, speaking purely personally, I'm, it's not nice to see. And, um, you know, when he walks out at the Spurs stadium as Chelsea manager, it's going to break my heart, not going to lie. But, you know, I'm a big boy. Hopefully I can get over it. Um, yeah, uh, to sort of start. Oh, <laughs> um, as a neutral, though, uh, what do you think of it, Dom? Yeah, I'm surprised you said it was a good move for him. I don't know about this one, to be honest with you. Chelsea are a... a a poison chalice right now. And um, as we'll get into it, the managers that they've had recently, obviously we've had Frank Lampard twice in this last three years, four years, um, very much a short-term perspective on managerial uh, sackings and signings, even with Todd Bowley, you know, in uh, you know, becoming the new chairman. I think that um, he's just carried on the way that Roman was, but in a more bizarre way. I can't believe they've found... They had a, a, an oligarch, a, a Russian leader, um, and then found a, a more insane owner in in Todd Bowley with the signings they've made, with the brash and and, and brass, you know, uh, I said the same word twice, and uh, it, it, sort of quickness in, t- in terms of short, you know, sacking. very brash, very brash, yeah, very very brash. <laughs> uh, Graham Potter obviously sacked. It wasn't even his fault at the end of the day. And I think that Poch, hold me to this, Poch will be sacked within six months. I think I don't think he will be there at the end of the season. Hold me to that. I don't think he will be at all. Um, if you look at the run of form that Chelsea have had recently, I think they've completely given up on the season. And can they get themselves back into it? I, they have the, t- the squad too. And they have the young players that Poch likes you know, you know, with the likes of Deli Alley at the time and, and so forth at Tottenham. It makes sense, but so did Graham Potter. I just I just don't think that Chelsea was the right fit for him. But you said that like Chelsea were the third least favourites. There's a lot of London clubs, so was, there was a bound to be a time where Pochettino was here in London. Um I didn't know the relationship between the clubs. I just know that Spurs and Arsenal don't go there. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, they, yeah, that that that's 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 the obvious one. Um no to be honest, I say that only because Chelsea are a London club. Um it's a bit of like, you know, not a tangent, like a bit talk about the Harry Kane thing when we talk about if Harry Kane's gonna stay or go. 
when you talk about Harry Kane going, I would, it's like for me, Man United, I, that's more palatable for me than Chelsea. Like, you know, right, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, uh, I would much rather see him. I don't, of course, I don't want to see him go. But, um, but that's, a, that's a separate thing. The point is, that, like, the same thing with Matt Pochettino is that when, the, when we found ourselves in this situation where Spurs and Chelsea were up for grabs, need a new manager, and I thought, initially I thought, you know what? Daniel Levy doesn't seem to suit. I, I mean, I obviously don't know him personally, but judging, you know, as a fan, it, he would have had to have swallowed some fat humble pie if he went and approached Pochettino to come back to Spurs. That being said, I think that part of the reason why this Chelsea thing protracted out so long is I suspect I have no genuine, I've no foundation for this, but part of me thinks Poch was probably looking at Spurs and going, "Well, I want to hear you out." He's definitely got a soft spot. He did not leave in disgrace, you know. He, you know, and if anything, I think that a lot of what when Harry Kane said it, a lot of Maurizio Pochettino's principles that he instilled at the club, he was probably a bit vindicated by watching what's not, you know, happening. Like he's probably looking at Spurs and going, "Well, you know, I can hold my head up because I don't blame Daniel Levy for what he did." I think, and you know, and, and I'd be hypocritical to say that at the time when he was sacked, I thought it was probably the right move. However, you know, hindsight's a great thing. Looking back now, the the, the debacle with Mourinho and then Conte and obviously Santos in the middle and all that. I think oh that Poch probably, Poch probably was looking at Spurs for a second and going, well, let's see what they have to say. I think Daniel Levy wasn't prepared for that. I What this tells me is that Daniel Levy is still holding out for a bigger name. You know, he's probably going to look at Enrique. The fact that Nagelsmann's dropped off, I'm not sure. Um, but I think in terms of the Poch and Chelsea thing, taking my, um, you know, my sort of, What's the word? You know, my allegiance out of it. I think that he's probably a good choice for Chelsea. I don't think, I know what you're saying, but I look at that situation at Chelsea and they've just spent, what is it, like 300 million in one window and even more over the course of a couple of windows. Any manager that goes in there is going to want to change things up. There's bound to be at least even two players or three players that are not going to sue Poch. But what Poch did do at Spurs and probably maybe because he's now come away from PSG, is he's probably going to be a little bit of a yes man. He's not going to go in there and rock the boat massively. He's not going to go there and say, well, we'll bin him off, bin him off, bin him off. You know, he's if Bowley, Todd Bowley's probably said to him, we need a man who can take the 300 plus million we've just spent and turn this into a decent team. And let's be honest, there's a lot of good players there, but it's, you know, that doth not make a great team just because you've got a load of good players it doesn't mean that they're going to be a great team I think Poch is a man to make a team although I do think you're right I think that uh you know Chelsea would have to change their ways they definitely have to invest in him uh, not just money time I think Poch you know but will Chelsea be willing to give that time to him I don't know and um I but I do think I do think he's the right manager I don't I do think that he was the only man on the market, who was going to be like, okay, I'll, I'll try it with this bunch of players, you know? 